Hanshan but Lillian Shur. Cincinnati choreographer, movement therapist, and educator, Fan Shen Shur creates contemporary rituals based on Hebraic traditions and cross-cultural myths that integrate movement, music, and poetry. She is founder of the Growth in Motion Center and has developed innovative movement studies programs for both children and adults. Wisdom, Worldview, Xenophile. I want to thank you for having chosen me, for honoring the work I do to embody truth. Our bodies are also our wis wisdom. Our bodies were created to be inviolate. Our planet was created to be inviolate. And as I accept this honor, I know it is an urge upon me to continue to connect the wisdom of thought with the wisdom contained within our bodies as one. My mother was 51 when I was, when I was born, and she would have been thrilled to have been here for this ceremony. The problem was she did not manifest her life, and she wanted me to do it for her. She kept saying, dance for them, Fanchon. Show them how you dance. But now I know what she really wanted was to have the dance of her silenced soul and spirit manifest in the world. And in the Chicago Lying-In Hospital, sorry, it wasn't Ohio, she had a plaque that is still there, because she is the oldest woman to have had a baby on record. <laughs> but the plaque calls me the miracle baby, and it's in our time where we acknowledge that she, in fact, was the miracle mother. So as a way of accepting this nomination, authentic to who I am and what I am and how I am and where I am, I would like to acknowledge the nourishment that this gift gives to me with my body as singular and in union with my words. And after I have done so, I will invite you to do it with me so that we can unshackle the bonds that tie our bodies into silent, still rigidity or obedient receivers of domination. I hope that you will do it with the celebrating mode that I am going to. First, I'll show it to you. I breathe in the air soon to be unpolluted. I send it down, down through my inviolate being to its roots in our mother earth. I open myself 
to the nourishment of all those in my present and around the world life and gather it in to the very center of my being and focus it as I integrate it with the past, the silenced myths of our ancient women, our silenced goddesses, the silence of my people, my Jewish people, whose voice was almost wiped out in the Holocaust. I take the wisdom of the women silenced through history whose voices we are reclaiming and the wonderful men standing by us, supporting and being nourished by us and accepting it. And I bring it with me on my way into the future. wonderful air, stretch them and let them live. Come on. <sighs> Take in the breath. <sighs> Nourish it. Let it go down through your body. Feel every part of yourself. It's a wonderful body. Take it down to the earth. Open up to the people to the side of you, right there. Take their hands. Come on, take their hands. Shake them strong. Yes, and resist a little bit. Get a little strength in there. Yeah, that's it. And lift them up with you. Yes, and bring them to your heart as you let them silently go, but feel that space. Take your own hands to your own heart, but bring them in spirit. Yeah. With you. Pull the teachings with you. Yes, from the past, pull it with you. Hold it all together. Hold it all together. Hold it with your heart in your hands. And from your heart, put your feet walking on the ground. Yeah and go into tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>